Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Dennis Callow, and I am the first assistant prosecutor of Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. I thank you all for coming here today uh, to join with us in what is a very important occasion and a very important ceremony. It is my honor to be able to conduct these ceremonies. It's important for Bergen County. It is important for the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. And it is a happy occasion for me personally. It's an important occasion because we're here to witness the administration of the oath of office of a new prosecutor for what we consider the finest prosecutor's office in the state of New Jersey. There's It is a happy occasion for me personally because it is my longtime friend, Mark Musella, who will take the oath of office. And because I will have the honor of serving Mark as his first assistant. Governor Murphy could not be here today. He wanted to be here. But in his stead, he asked his counsel, Matt Platkin, uh, to be here, and I would like to acknowledge his presence and thank him and through him, the governor, for honoring us in this way. Here to administer the oath of office is our beloved Attorney General and former Burton County Prosecutor, Gerbeer Graywall. General, it is always good to have you among us. Also with us are some of our senators, Senator Lagana and Cardinale. Senator Weinberg wanted to be here, but she had a personal and family matter that she had to attend to, and she sends her regrets. And of course, the man who wisely sponsored Mark for the position of Bergen County Prosecutor, Senator Paul Sarlo. Good job, Senator. Our County Executive, James Tedesco, our Bergen County Freeholders, as well as our Sheriff, Anthony Curidan, our County Administrator, Julian Niels, our county clerk, John Hogan, our surrogate, Michael Dressler, are all here to officially welcome Mark as a constitutional officer of Bergen County. Representatives of the Bergen County Judiciary, many of whom Mark has also appeared before, for many years are here. And I also noticed that there are representatives from the State County Judiciary here and the Essex County Judiciary. And I saw Brian Martinotti from the Federal Judicial District, who's also here to honor Mark. Also, former prosecutor John Molinelli. Welcome back, John. <laughs> former Chiefs of Detectives Mike Mordaga and Steve Cuccinello are also here with us. Senator Scatari, the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee, I believe he's also here, the committee that confirmed Mark's nomination. Also numerous members of the assembly, too numerous to mention. Also here are many county prosecutors, chief of detectives, and police chiefs who have come to honor Mark and the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. And you, you are all here, all friends and colleagues of Mark Busella. When Mark asked me to conduct these proceedings, he gave me two directives. 
One, he said, it's going to be a hot summer afternoon and everyone will really want to get to the party. <laughs> so make it short. And two, don't make it about me. Make it about the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. And ladies and gentlemen, that's typical Mark Musella. Well, I promise to keep it short. And I ask the other speakers, please keep it short. But as for the second order you gave me, Mark, I am going to partially disregard it. And you can discipline me tomorrow. <laughs> but go light on me. I'm an old man. But Mark is right. It is about the office. So at Mark's request, also here with us on stage are his chief of detectives, Rob Anzalotti, and his command staff of captains and lieutenants, his executive assistant prosecutor, Tom McGuire, and all our assistant prosecutor section chiefs. If he had it his way and if the stage were big enough, Mark would have each and every member of the prosecutor's office here on stage with us. But that could not be. But he invited each and every member of the office to be here and then to his reception because as he recognizes and as I hope we all recognize, this indeed is about the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. Can I now call for the presentation of the colors? Ladies and gentlemen, while I was acting prosecutor for a little over a year, I had the good fortune to have a strong leader, an experienced law enforcement officer, as my chief of detectives. He provided stability to the office and was a source of wise counsel. He will continue to provide stability, leadership, and counsel as Mark's chief of detectives. I call upon our chief, Robert Anzalotti, to honor our country and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Rob? Please join us in honoring the United States of America. Please I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with 
liberty and justice for all. I'd like to now call upon Officer Samantha Rossi to sing the national anthem. Officer Samantha Rossi of the Orange Police Department is a graduate of Bergen County Police Academy, class number 122, which was the first class of recruits sworn in by Prosecutor Mark Musella. She has an outstanding voice and it is only fitting that she sings the national anthem for us. Please direct your attention to our nation's flag as Officer Rossi sings our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets reckless the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh Say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave? Thank you, Officer Rossi. Best of luck in your, your young career, and please be safe. Honor Guard, please retire the colors. Please be seated. Mark Musella is a lifelong parishioner of the Assumption of Our Blessed Lady Church in Woodridge. Before becoming prosecutor, he was the attorney for the Assumption Parish Finance Committee. Audrey, his wife, remains active in the church as a leader of the Children's Literary Program and as president of the Rosary Society. So I ask Father Richard Mikowski, pastor of Assumption Church, to deliver the blessing for these proceedings. Pastor. Thank you, Dennis. Let us pray. Gracious God, each of us in our own way from our own traditions invokes your presence with us here this afternoon as we gather on this ceremonious occasion. In your wisdom, loving God, you have set us within families. You have gathered families into communities, communities that 
combine to make us a strong nation. We are thankful for the people of the communities of Bergen County, some of whom are gathered here today to witness Mark Musella take the oath of office as county prosecutor. We are grateful for Mark and those who work with him in the service of our communities. Bless Mark and his co-workers as he takes the oath of office. With these solemn words come a public trust. So we pray that you will confirm in him and those who work with him the commitment to what is true, what is right, and what is fair. Endow him with wisdom to lead and humility to serve. We pray that he will guide and inspire the entire prosecutor's office staff to lead us in renewing the ties of mutual respect which form our civic life. Fill each of us with a renewed commitment to work with Mark for the people of Bergen County. Deliver us from the political divisions that afflict our age. Keep us attuned to the highest standards of public service. Grant Mark the vision to work for goals and purposes larger than any one of us and give him the energy, zeal, courage, and strength to carry forward the vision for his office. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, for you have set within us communities in Bergen County and called us to promote the common good. And to this prayer, may we all say, Amen. Thank you, Father, for that lovely prayer. Our first speaker, County Executive James Tedesco, will be welcoming Mark on behalf of Bergen County government. I always praise the County Executive uh, at these public gatherings, and sometimes it can get to sound rote but I want to assure him and you that it's always sincere. For he has provided the leadership for county government in a broad spirit of cooperation and support of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. He and the Board of Chosen Freeholders have partnered with the Prosecutor's Office and supported us in our significant law enforcement and community initiatives. Whether it is to fight the opioid epidemic with Operation Helping Hand, or our efforts to make our schools safe through the Bergen County Safe Schools Task Force, the County Executive and Board of Freeholders have always listened to us and have always provided the resources that allow us to do all that we do. Indeed, our programs are their programs. County Executive James Tedesco, would you please come up? Welcome our new prosecutor. First of all, I'm honored and extremely proud to be able to stand here today at the swearing in of the Honorable Mark Masella as the prosecutor of the County of Bergen. I welcome all of you to the Bergen County Academies here in Hackensack, one of the high schools that is ranked in the top five in the nation. And why do I say that? I say that because someday out of these academies may come a prosecutor, may come a police chief, may become the Attorney General, may become the Governor, and yes, maybe even become the President of the United States. We're here today to celebrate a new chapter for the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. We welcome Mark back 
to the Bergen County family. Not back to Bergen County, because he's been here his entire life. But we welcome him back to the Bergen County family because as you have read and you will hear, he's been in the prosecutor's office once before. So I call all of our employees, all the people that work on behalf of Bergen County, our family. And today we get to welcome back one of those members to our family. For the past four years, four and a half years, as your county executive, and before as a freeholder, I have been proud to work alongside the men and women of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and first prosecutor, first assistant prosecutor, Callow, just talked about how government and law enforcement have been able to come together in this county and work on behalf of the citizens of this county, of a county of almost a million people, larger than any other county in the state of New Jersey, larger than six states in the nation. We've come together to work together to make Bergen County the great county it is and the safe county it is. Day after day, the dedicated public servants at the prosecutor's office work to support safety and justice for the nearly one million of us that call Bergen County their home. When I think of the staff of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, I think of words and qualities like loyalty, ethics, duty, respect, service, commitment, honor, integrity, most of all, professionalism, because the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office is truly the most professional prosecutor's office in the state of New Jersey. These are qualities and values that Mark and his team embody. As, as Bergen County Prosecutor, I know Mark will work diligently and compassionately to provide justice and safety to the people we are sworn to serve. Mark, the people of our county and all New Jersey residents are fortunate to have you as our Bergen County Prosecutor. I know your commitment to justice, your intellect, and your dedication to public service will guide you well going forward. To the men and women of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, thank you for everything you do for the people of this county. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker is the man who sponsored Mark Musella for the office of Bergen County Prosecutor. Senator Paul Sarlo is the Deputy Majority Leader of the New Jersey Senate, and he also serves as the Mayor of Woodridge. Senator Sarlo is a firm supporter of law enforcement. He has sponsored bills criminalizing the illegal trafficking and distribution of prescription drugs and for stiff penalties against identity theft. These are only some of the pieces of legislation that he has sponsored in actual fact, there are over 250 pieces of legislation that he has sponsored that have become law. Senator Sarlo has also been a strong supporter of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. His nomination of Mark Musella for the Office of Prosecutor bespeaks this support and his commitment that our office will continue to be at the forefront of law enforcement and criminal prosecution in this state. Senator Sarlo. Thank you, uh, Dennis, and good afternoon, everybody. Uh, it's great to see everyone here. Uh, Attorney 
General Graywell, my good friend, just commented, typically when he hears me speak, I usually speak off the cuff. But today there's some important things I need to get out there and I wanted to make sure so I have some prepared remarks for you. Uh, today's ceremony, uh, the swearing in of Mark Masella as Bergen County's prosecutor, is a shining example of democracy and good government in action. Gathered here today are members of the legislative branch of state government, both Republicans and Democrats, and the judicial branch of state government, both Republicans and Democrats, to bear witness and lend their support to the swearing in of a new county prosecutor. A member of the executive branch of state government, and who I might add is a registered Republican nominated by a Democratic governor, the Honorable Phil Murphy. We are also proudly joined by officials from our county government, from our municipal governments, from all of our law enforcement agencies, and from the great Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. Most importantly, we are joined by citizens who entrust their well-being and safety to all of us in government through their vote. My friends, this is what makes America so special, and this is why we are the shining example of democracy for the rest of the world. Today is a proud day for the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, an agency, quite frankly, with a national reputation for professional excellence. When I travel around the state in my role as chairman of the Senate Budget and Appropriations Committee, it makes me extremely proud to have attorneys, judges, and police officers from outside of Bergen County praise and compliment the work of Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. Please, let's have another round of applause for the men and women of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, who we all know as the BCPO. In welcoming Mark Masella as their new leader, the men and women of the BCPO will be led by a person with unquestioned integrity, competence, and compassion, who will carry on the outstanding example set by his predecessors, former prosecutor and current attorney general, and my good friend, Gorbeer Graywall, and John Molinelli, another great friend, who are both here with us. Please, let's have a round of applause for two outstanding Bergen County prosecutors. I would be remiss if for a moment I did not wear my hat as the mayor of Woodridge for the past 20 years and acknowledge the enormous outpouring of people from my great community who are not only here today, but I'm sure did not get out of work early, who will be making their way down Terrace Ave to the Stony Hill Inn in droves to support their friend and neighbor, Mark Masella. The people of Woodridge take enormous pride in seeing one of their own someone who has been so active in our community, whether it's at Assumption Church, the Lions Club, the Boy Scouts, out of all of our schools, recreation programs, you name it, assume this high office. I must also mention the historical significance of this occasion because Mark Misella is now the third resident of the Borough of Woodridge to serve as Bergen County Prosecutor. Mark was preceded by John Molinelli and by Guy Calissi who served as mayor, from, mayor of Woodridge from 1948 to 1954, and then as county prosecutor from 1954 to 1970 before joining the New Jersey Superior Court. Ladies and gentlemen, the story of Mark Misella is a story that probably all of us in this room can relate to in one way or another. It's the story of the American dream, quite frankly. Mark's parents came to this country from Italy after the Second World War. They came to America with nothing other than their love for each other, their faith in God, their determination to work hard, and their desire for life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. They worked hard, bought a home, and raised a family. And today, their son, one generation removed from immigration, is the chief law enforcement officer of Bergen County, responsible for nearly one million residents and nearly 3,000 law enforcement officers. I know today is difficult and bittersweet for Mark and his family because last year his father had passed and his mother continues to struggle and is currently battling serious health issues. When I took the lead 
in early 2018 for my Bergen Center colleagues, and I want to acknowledge Senator Cardinale and Senator Lagana and Senator Weinberg, and working with Matt Plackett and Governor Murphy to identify a worthy candidate to be Bergen County Prosecutor, I wanted to find someone who possessed certain qualities. Ideally, I wanted someone who had experience in the BCPO as an assistant prosecutor. I wanted someone with significant criminal trial experience. And I wanted someone with exceptional integrity and intellect. Significantly, I wanted someone who also possessed that common sense and compassion to ensure that people, face, people facing life-altering circumstances would be treated with dignity and respect. And most importantly, I wanted someone with a stellar reputation in the legal community for exhibiting excellent demeanor and collegiality to his fellow attorneys and to the members of the judiciary. As I embarked on my search, I thought I had an almost impossible task that would take many, many months. But sometimes in life, what you are searching for, you don't realize, is right under your nose. See, in April 2018, it's a true story, I walked into a local pizzeria tavern in Woodridge after coaching a baseball game. I was sweaty and tired, probably still wearing my cleats, when I saw Mark and Audrey sitting at a table sharing a pizza and a couple of beers. Now, I've known Mark for most of my life because he went to school with my older brother and sister. So, as we do, we chit-chatted the usual. We talked about the baseball game, our jobs, our moms, and our kids. Mark and Audrey told me how proud they were of their two sons because they both graduated college, both had jobs, and they were hopeful that both were able to live without the help of mom and dad. They told me about how they were looking forward to a new chapter in their lives of being able to have some more time to vote to community and church. Instantly, the light bulb went off in my head, and I started to recall many of the aspects of Mark's professional background. Most importantly, that he had been an AP at the BCPO years ago, and the bucket list that I had generated. I blurted out to Mark, would you consider being Bergen County Prosecutor? I could see the shock on Mark's and Audrey's faces. Mark literally choked on the pizza. Mark told me that being prosecutor would be his dream job and that he would be honored to be considered. Now, at that very moment, what happened next is something that my Senate colleagues, my family, my friends, and my staff appreciate. My phone rang. I got distracted. My ADD, Attention Deficit Disorder, set in, and I walked away from the conversation, from the table, and forgot to ever resume the conversation. It's typical. About a week later, I'm driving to coach another baseball game about an hour away, and I remember our conversation that I normally do. It always takes me a couple days. I immediately picked up the phone to our law enforcement, hands-free, of course. <laughs> Not all the time, but... Uh, and I called assignment Judge Mizdol, a personal friend. And then I called a, very, a few very important legal and law enforcement minds in Bergen County, who I trust when I sprung the name of Mark Mussell upon them. They all confirmed to me what was on my original bucket list. He was an amazing candidate. After the game that night, I called Mark on his cell and said, holy Sorry, Father. I forgot to follow up with you from the pizzeria the other night. Mark said, did you drink too much? I said, no, I just I got distracted. Ladies and gentlemen, the rest is history. And that which brings us here today to Mark Masella. Mark, I am so proud of you and so thankful to you for agreeing to take on this awesome responsibility. Rest assured that you are well prepared for this position that you have a talented and gifted team supporting you at BCPO, and that you have the prayers, the best wishes, and encouragement of all of us gathered here today as you begin to carry out your mission of keeping the people of Bergen County safe and secure. May God bless you, and may God bless the men and women of the BCPO.
Nice words, Senator. Nice words. Thank you very much. Well, Mark, this is my chance to disregard one of your direct orders and to speak in praise of you. But first, I want to thank you for being on time for your swearing in. <laughs> oh, you all know Mark. Oh. I firmly believe. I know you told me not to say that, right? <laughs> I firmly believe that this is the only time in your life that you have been on time for any. Audrey, was he on time for his wedding? He was early. He was early. Well, I can tell you he was early today, too. But that's only because the chief of detectives assigned a detective to pick him up. And I said to the detective, what time are you picking him up? And he told me. And I said to him, get there 15 minutes earlier than that, because I guarantee he will not be ready. And I got the report back, he was not ready. <laughs> but Mark, now you have the comfort of never having to be late again. Because as the boss, whatever time you show up is the right time. <laughs> and everyone else will be too early. Ladies and gentlemen, I said in my opening remarks that Mark told me not to make today about him personally, but about the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. And as I said, that is Mark Gisela. It is never about him. Whenever you speak with Mark, it is about his wife, Audrey, his two sons, Gabe and Michael, and his mom. It used also to be about his dad, also Gabe, who recently passed away. And when you talk to Mark about the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, even since he's become prosecutor, it is not about his position, it is not about his authority, it is about how to make the office better how to make our detective staff more professional, how to make the legal staff more professional, how to make the victim witness and support staff even more professional than they are. And when you talk to Mark, you talk about how he cares for everyone in the office and how he wants to take care of them. That's Mark Busella. Mark started practicing law with the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office in September 1988. He was fresh from a Bergen County clerkship with Judge Polito. He stayed with the Prosecutor's Office until June 1994, almost six years. And that's how I came to know him, because I served with him. Some of you may know that I am not an easy person to impress, but Mark impressed me because he was the real deal. You know, I have a special regard for true, true prosecuting trial attorneys. Not all who aspire to be prosecutors are true trial attorneys, but true trial attorneys have to work hard, they have to make personal sacrifices, and they have to put themselves on the line. And they have to do it while always doing the right thing. It is a role that takes an emotional and physical toll, and I believe deserves respect. Mark was all of that and more. He was a workhorse. He worked long hours, he worked weekends, and he was fearless. Another trait that I love. 
You know, in those days, it was much different than it is today. We often then tried two cases a week. We often picked our second jury while our first jury was out. Judge Conti may remember those days. So Mark, as we all did, learned fast. He never turned anything down. In fact, he always looked for more. And if an assistant prosecutor was reluctant to try a case because the proofs looked weak, Mark would often say, give me the case, and he would try it. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, he won more of those cases than he lost. Preparation, hard work, fearlessness. Mark tried so many cases, one after the other. I believe at one time his caseload was over 200 cases. Right, Mark? You must have noted that somewhere, is that right? He tried so many cases, one after another, that from time to time, he had to be ordered out of the trial section, always over his objection, just to give him a rest. And Mark did justice. Mark always knew intuitively what was right and what was fair. He never mistreated or demeaned a defendant or opposing counsel. He was never arrogant, as some prosecutors become arrogant just because they have authority. He earned everyone's respect and most people's friendship. Mark has a gift for friendship. The magnificent turnout today here attests to Mark's gift of friendship. Like a lot of us who have passed through the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, Mark grew to have a strong affection for our office. That affection is because Mark learned how to practice law in our office the right way under good and ethical prosecutors. It is because of the camaraderie he experienced in the office. We all helped each other. It is because of the lifelong friendships he made in the office. And I am one of those lifelong friends. It is because he and we did and continue to do justice in the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. It is because he and we serve something greater than ourselves. After he left the prosecutor's office in 1994, Mark continued his outstanding legal career. He served in many other public offices, such as municipal prosecutor and municipal public defender. He built a large legal practice, still working hard day and night. I would often see Mark when I was in private practice in municipal court, eight and nine o'clock at night. We handled in private practice a lot of large cases together. And yes, Mark was always late, but he was always ready, he was always prepared. And often we talked about our days in the prosecutor's office and our affection for the office, never once dreaming that someday we would be back. Well, Mark, you're back. The affection that Mark holds for our office is perhaps the most important thing he brings to the office of prosecutor of Bergen County. That affection will help keep him focused as he concentrates on doing only the right thing. It will keep him humble as he is humble in a public office that can be easily abused. It will keep him, I know, as he is, my good, my true friend, 
Mark Musella. Mark, I will be proud to serve you. I thank Senator Sarlo for sponsoring you. I thank the governor for nominating you and the state senate for confirming your nomination. And I thank you for choosing me as your first assistant. Thank you very much. Our next speaker, who will administer the oath of office to Mark, is a very special person to me and to members of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. He is our former prosecutor, now our Attorney General. Before the Attorney General asked me to be his first assistant, I did not know him. But as I worked with him and for him, as his first assistant, I came to regard him not only with respect, but with a certain awe. He is clearly one of the brightest people I have ever met, if not the brightest. But even more important than that, to my mind, he above all embodies all that is best about the legal profession. Attorney General, Graywall always strives to promote the noblest ideals of our Constitution and our Bill of Rights and of law enforcement. He was a great prosecutor and he is a great Attorney General. Attorney General Gerbeer Graywall, would you administer the oath of office and say a few kind words? Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. To the reverend clergy, to the members of the judiciary, to all the legislators, to the law enforcement family, especially the BCPO family, and to Prosecutor Masella, his wife Audrey, Gabriel, and Mark, it is an honor and a privilege to be with you this afternoon. Let me start by apologizing to Senator Sarlo for breaking the lineage of county prosecutors hailing from Woodridge. <laughs> I hadn't realized that until I was listening to his remarks. Uh, as I was thinking about what to say this afternoon, I thought about my own swearing in, which was very long. And I thought to keep it short, because I think Wayne Mello still might be speaking at my swearing in. <laughs> but as I was thinking about what to share with you this afternoon, I was thinking about a, an interaction I had with Chief Anzalotti a couple of weeks ago. And it was at a basketball game between the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and the New Jersey State Police. And I oversee the New Jersey State Police now in my current role. And Rob came up to me and he said, tell me the truth. Who are you cheering for? And I didn't answer him that day. But I'm going to answer him this afternoon. I was cheering for the BCPO. And I continued to cheer for the BCPO. <laughs> the BCPO. <laughs> and that's not why I cheer for you. I cheer for you not just because of that basketball game and not just because of the excellence and the professionalism that we've heard about this afternoon, not just because we have the finest detectives in the state, not just because we have the finest assistant prosecutors and support staff, because of all of those reasons and one more. In 2016, you welcomed me with open arms. I walked in the door at the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, unknown to all of you, in January of 2016. And you could have been dismissive about me because the senators, unlike today, couldn't agree uh, on my nomination. So I had to walk in as the, <laughs> the acting county prosecutor without any mandate and without any guarantee of how long I would serve in that role. But you welcomed me with open arms and you supported me. John Higgins worked with me day in and day out to get acclimated to this office, to learn what it meant to run an office. And you listened to me. And we listened to each other. And during our time together, we did a lot of magnificent, magnificent things. But you could have dismissed me, and you didn't. But together, we were able to do things like Operation Helping Hand or stand up a community affairs unit, bring new techniques to address violent crime in the county, preserve 
what Rob and I always talked about as our legacy, not knowing how long I'd be there, but to preserve our legacy by making sure that we were hiring the best attorneys, by making sure that we were hiring the best detectives. Because if I lost that job in six months, I wanted, to be, I wanted people to be able to look at those detectives and those assistant prosecutors and be proud that they were part of that office. And together, we helped build that office. And what I said to you in January of 2016 is that I come into this position as a caretaker with one goal in mind, to leave it better than I found it. And I think in some small way, I was able to do that, but it was because of the support that I received from each of you. And it's because of the partnership that I had from another caretaker in that effort, which is Prosecutor Callow. You know, we didn't know each other, but on a leap of faith, he came on board, shut down his practice to work with me, then I left a few months later. But, <laughs> but, but we did some important things, and, and we tried to improve the way we tried cases, and we wanted people to try more and more cases. And, and, and Dennis, you were a magnificent caretaker of this office, because at the end of the day, that's what we all really are. I was a caretaker, you were a caretaker, and Mark, you will be a caretaker as well. So as you assume this new role, know that I will continue to cheer each of you on. I will continue to look at the headlines and look to the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office as the model for what prosecutor's offices in the state should look like. And to Mark, again, you inherit a terrific, terrific office. And I encourage you to take great care of that office. I encourage you to improve it in every way you can and fix all of Dennis's mistakes. <laughs> and importantly, I encourage you to leave it better than you found it. And I encourage each of you at the BCPO to welcome Mark and support Mark like you supported both Dennis and me. And if you do that, there are no heights that you cannot achieve at the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. There are no heights that law enforcement in this county cannot reach. And I cannot wait to see each and everything that you accomplish here in Bergen County because this is truly the gold standard for what prosecutors' offices should look like and how they should be operating. I want to thank Audrey, Gabriel, and Mark, or Mike, for sharing Mark and supporting Mark in this effort because it is truly a team effort. Those late nights, those long weekends are going to require each of you to be there for him. And having talked to you today and in prior occasions, I know you'll provide him the support that he needs to do this job the only way he can do it, which is well, based on everything he's done throughout his career. So I could not be more excited to be here this afternoon to share in this special ceremony, to be back with the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. Now, Mark, it would be my honor to swear you in. Execute the duties. Execute the duties of county prosecutor. Of county prosecutor. Of this state. Of this state. In and for the county of Bergen. In and for the county of Bergen. To the best of my abilities and understanding. To the best of my abilities and understanding. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, prosecutor. <laughs> Like a wedding. 
Is it hot in here? <laughs> Thank you and good afternoon. I recognize that this privilege has been afforded to me because of the efforts of so many of you here today. Please let me begin by acknowledging some of the individuals who have been instrumental in my journey. <clears throat> First, I would like to thank God for giving me the strength, health, and guidance to take on this responsibility. Only through God is all this possible. I would like to thank my lovely wife, Audrey, for standing by me and supporting me all these 35 years, especially through the nomination and approval process. It took a while, but you were always there for me. Without you, I would not be standing at this podium today. I love you, Audrey. Next, I would like to thank the executive assistant to the Bergen County Prosecutor, my secretary and paralegal for 25 years, Chris Kletchkowski. Thank you for all the long days and nights and weekends, and for always making me look good. Thank you for your dedication and hard work all these years. Also, without you, I would not be standing here today. Chris, come on. I would like to thank Governor Murphy for nominating me to this position. The governor could not be here today, but he called me to congratulate me on my nomination and to express condolences for the loss of my dad. The governor was correct when he said, these are the best of times and the worst of times. Thank you to Governor's Chief of Staff, Matt Placken, and Chief Ethics Officer, Heather Taylor, for your confidence and guiding, guidance during this process. Obviously, very important to my becoming prosecutor is Senator Paul Sarlo, my friend for many years. I thank Senator Sarlo for having the confidence to put me forward for the office of Bergen County Prosecutor. I thank him and his staff for supporting and advising me through the nomination and approval process. And I thank him for never wavering in his commitment to me and his, in his efforts on my behalf. Thank you, Paul. I would also like to thank Senators Weinberg, Cardinale, Lagana, and Senate Judiciary Chairman Scuteri for their confidence and support. I would also like to thank the members of the Assembly that are here today for their support. I would like to acknowledge and thank former Bergen County Prosecutor and current Attorney General and now my boss, Beer Graywall, First Assistant Prosecutor Dennis Cowell, my friend for many years, and Chief of Detectives Robert Anzalotti, also my friend for many years, for their leadership and stewardship of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and for their assistance in the transition process. I would like to acknowledge County Executive Jim Tedesco, County Administrator Julian Niels, and Sheriff Anthony Curitan, the freeholders and other county officials who are here the prosecutor's office has a strong working relationship with county government with respect to law enforcement and community outreach, and that will continue under my administration. Judge Mizdahl could not be here tonight, but I thank Judge Mizdahl for swearing me, my first assistant, and chief of detectives in on May 20th. I've known Judge Mizdahl for many years, both as an attorney, as a municipal and superior court judge. I assure Judge Mizdahl and the Bergen Judiciary of my cooperation and my office's cooperation in the criminal justice process in Bergen County. I would like to acknowledge all the federal, appellate, superior court, municipal court, and retired judges and members of the Bergen County Bar that are here, and other uh, bar association members that are here. And I thank you for your guidance, support, and friendship all these years. It's been a pleasure to appear before you and work alongside you. 
I would be remiss if I did not mention the Honorable Ralph A. Polito, Judge of the Superior Court, who gave me my clerkship and my start in 1987. I would like to acknowledge the Assistant U.S. Attorneys, the Deputy Attorney Generals, the County Prosecutors, and former prosecutors and assistant prosecutors, and the county and local police chiefs that are here. I look forward to working with you and to a continued cooperation between us. To my BCPO family, the assistant prosecutors, the investigators, the agents, the clerical and support staff, thank you for welcoming me back with open arms. Over the last few weeks, I've worked with many of you and I am impressed by your professionalism, your dedication, and your work ethic. Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you to my family, my close friends, and my colleagues for your kind words of encouragement, your words of wisdom, and your support during the very lengthy confirmation process. You know who you are. Thank you to the committee, Communication Director Maureen Parenta, Captain Hector Carter, Executive Assistant Chris Klutchkowski, Assistant Prosecutor Elizabeth Rabine, and Public uh, Information Assistant Chris Rosado for organizing this event and for all your hard work. Thank you to the presenters, the Sheriff's Honor Guard, the Bergen County Pipe and Drums, and Officer Samantha Rossi. I would like to thank my sons Gabriel and Michael for graduating college and getting full-time jobs. <laughs> That always gets a laugh. <laughs> I'm proud of the young men you have become. Finally, I would like to thank my mom and dad for their guidance, love, and support, and for instilling in me their work ethic and values, and for stressing the importance of God, education, and family. My mom, Lee, is ill, and she cannot be here today. But I went to see her this morning, and I thanked her for working as a secretary all those years to help put my brother and I through school. And I thanked her for teaching me to read and write and spending so much time with me in my early years, which were some of the happiest times of my life. My dad, Gabriel, passed away in February at the age of 92, before I was nominated to this position. At the age of 85, my father wrote his memoir. It begins, Looking back on the life I was born into, it seemed impossible for me to get to where I am today. When I was young, there wasn't the possibility for me to come to America. It took me a long time, hard work, and much sacrifice to get here. My father was born in Naples, Italy in 1927, the eldest boy of seven children. At the start of World War II, his family moved to a small island called Ventitena, 40 miles off the coast of Naples. There was no electricity, no cars, no motorboats, no phone, and little medicine. And there was a ferry from Naples once a week. As a young boy, he farmed and fished and hunted quail with nets to put food on the table. Then things went from bad to worse. The Germans occupied the island, imprisoned his father, and forced him to work. He said he must have peeled thousands and thousands of potatoes. In 1943, the Allies invaded Anzio and liberated the island. He was in awe of the power and size of the American army. That day, he decided he had to come to America. He was 16. My dad left Italy at the age of 24 with an eighth grade education and a cardboard box of clothes. He would never see his parents again. He went to work in Switzerland and then in Canada. He worked on farms, railroads, factories, and in construction. He slept in barns, attics, rented rooms. All the while, he sent his money home. After 10 years, he finally made it to America. He promptly got a job working with Joseph L. Muscarelli in Maywood, and he worked construction for the next 30 years. He was the hardest working, most honest man I knew. He was up every day at 6 a.m., he was still cutting the grass and shoveling snow at 90. He ran circles around me my entire life. Dad, today is the culmination of all your hard work and sacrifice, 
and of your American dream. I am the son of an Italian immigrant. I am a first-generation American. I am the first in my family to go to college. I tell you this so that you know who I am, where I came from, and what I am about as your prosecutor. Thank you. Let me begin by saying right off that I am honored to be the Bergen County Prosecutor. It's been a long, long road, but I am finally home. I want you all to know that I have a special affection for the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office and for the people of this office. This affection is born out of me being an assistant prosecutor for nearly six years and making lifelong relationships with many of you. As your prosecutor, I believe in proactive, persistent, and thorough investigations. I believe in fair and thorough prosecutions and trials. Under my administration, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office will continue to produce a, prof a professional work product in a diverse work environment, and there will be continued emphasis on community outreach. I am committed to keeping the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office the gold standard and keeping it at the cutting edge of law enforcement and prosecutions. In the 30 years since I took my oath as an assistant prosecutor, law enforcement has changed dramatically. In addition to the traditional arrest, investigation, and prosecution functions, we are proactive in preventing crime in many ways, including awareness, education, and intervention. It may be teaching senior citizens which scams to look out for, or teaching kids about the reality of online predators. It's using technology and information sharing to map serial burglaries or to track a deadly batch of fentanyl. It's developing relationships with mental health and other agencies so that we can direct individuals who are in crisis to help rather than to jail. It's programs like the Youth Police Academy, which we run for two weeks every summer with the Sheriff's Department. That introduces 100 Bergen County High Schools to careers in law enforcement and helps them develop a skill set to make good decisions. It's an honor for me to have my new boss and someone you all know, Attorney General Gray Wall, here today to administer the oath of office. In his two years as Bergen County Prosecutor and since becoming Attorney General, he has been at the forefront of this shift in many ways. He has been an innovator in community outreach and community policing. He has developed a number of programs in response to the opioid crisis, including Operation Helping Hand, and the Heroin Addiction Response Team, also known as HEART. Both of these initiatives are collaborations with police, county, and nonprofit agencies that require communication, information sharing, and a coordination unlike anything we have ever done. My immediate predecessor, First Assistant Prosecutor Dennis Callow, while acting prosecutor, refused to drop the baton. Those of you who know him know that he is passionate about keeping our schools, our children, and our communities safe. He convened a multidisciplinary group of leaders in Bergen County in the Safe School Task Force and gave them one task, ensure that our children are safe when they are at school. The task force issued its first report earlier this year and continues to study and recommend best practices for safe schools. The various committees continue to work, but the urgent focus in year two is on mental health in our schools. Dennis also devoted significant resources to prevention programs, expanding our pathway to addiction, presentation to seventh graders, in addition to all ninth grade classes in Bergen County. I would be remiss if I did not mention another predecessor of mine, former Bergen County prosecutor, John Molinelli. John recognized the opioid crisis early on and provided Narcan to all police officers in the county. I recently witnessed the staggering need for Narcan at the state's giveaway day on June 19th. One Bergen County pharmacy alone handed out 156 Narcan kits. At that pharmacy, I witnessed the story of a gentleman, approximately my age, who had a friend who had suffered a back injury, became dependent on prescription opioids, and was being weaned off them by his doctor, all the while using illicit drugs to supplement the reduced dose. He recognized the need for help, but he did not know where to turn. 
We cannot stand idly by and not answer that man's plea for help. So we are committed to connecting individuals suffering from addiction to treatment. That may be at the time of arrest in court or at a hospital or simply by encouraging them to walk into a police department. One example is a program that I helped develop when I was the public defender in Fairlawn. The Fairlawn Initiative identifies individuals who are addicted to opioids and connects them with a patient navigator who prepares a treatment plan which includes maintaining contact with a recovery specialist for six months. Individuals who comply for the six months have their charges entirely dismissed. Let me emphasize the pressing need for solutions like the Fairlawn Initiative. We are losing loved ones and friends to a preventable disease. In 2018, we in Bergen County lost 140 individuals to drug overdose. 122 of them were opioid related. I am committed to expanding this program to other municipal courts and to working with our community partners to do whatever we can to save lives. I certainly acknowledge that some of these pilot programs and creative solutions may seem difficult to implement. In fact, they may fail. But one lesson I learned from my father is that with hard work, nothing is impossible. We must try. I am confident that through the passion, devotion, and ability of the men and women of the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office, we will be able to keep our communities safe and solve countless problems. We have learned over the past three decades <clears throat> that we cannot solve or prevent crime or keep our communities safe alone. I am committed to using advances in technology and communication tools to share information. But technology alone does not prevent or solve crime. Problems are solved through relationships and I look forward to working with our law enforcement partners at the local, county, state, and federal levels. Police chiefs, I look forward to meeting each of you and learning about the needs specific to your unique communities. Much like my father's life path, my presence at this podium is seemingly impossible. I am humbled and honored to have the privilege to hold this position. On my first day as Bergen Ca County Prosecutor, General Gray Wall called me. And he said to me, the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office is a special place. And as the prosecutor, we are temporary caretakers of that office. And we are tasked with leaving it better than we found it. General, I promised you that day, and I promise you and the people of Bergen County today, that I will work hard, do my best to do just that. And in so doing, make Bergen County a safe and better place to live for all our residents. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you see why we are lucky to have Mark Musella. But we come to the end. Burton County Prosecutor's Office has four chaplains, one Orthodox Jewish, one Muslim, a Baptist, and a Catholic. We try to get as many spiritual bases covered as we possibly can. They have come together to deliver an ecumenical benediction to us and to our new prosecutor as we conclude these proceedings. I call upon our chaplains, Imam Mutaz Sharef, Rabbi Joel Friedman, Reverend Gregory Jackson, and Father Samuel Satara for that blessing as we leave. Chaplains. Good afternoon. Wow. What a stage. We better buy the lotto tonight with so many chaplains. Us chaplain, we have a message for the prosecutor. As a chaplain, we, we are looking forward to working with you closely, collectively, on behalf of each and every community for many more years. Thank you. God willing. Thank you. Let's bow our head and let us pray. 
their God of all fates. We come here today as sons and daughters, united in our common pursuit of justice for all mankind. Open your eyes that we may see not just the obvious evil in our community, but open our hearts so that we may feel the pain of those who are the victims of injustice. Help us to communicate to the masses, to the doors, to the part, the swing of hinges, of equally, and the oil by the sweet fringes of justice. Today we collectively bless this office, the seat of law and order in this county. But we also lift up the nation's creed that demands justice for all. May we be ever mindful of our responsibility of service, justice, and equality for all. May this office tune its ears to both the demands of the plaintiff and the cries of the defendants. May this office seek not only punishment, but righteousness. In this office's search for doing the right thing, may it always seek truth, for in seeking truth, it will indeed gain trust. Make us ever mindful of the fact that behind our badges and weapons and sophisticated technology, that at the heart of our job is the opportunity to serve. We commit ourselves first to be helpers of our people, but when necessary, to be warriors for justice. God, we bless the Honorable Attorney General, Gebir Graywall. We bless his office. We bless the prosecutor. We bless every employee in the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. We bless all the assistants prosecutors. We bless the secretaries. We bless the detectives. We bless the maintenance workers. And we bless their families. Keep them safe. Keep them calm on the pressure and courage in the pursuit of justice. Help them to separate the truth from falsehood. Help them to keep the balance between justice and law and order. We pray today for our county, our state, and for the leadership of this office. We pray specifically for Prosecutor Mark Mazzella. We believe that the greatness of an organization will be directly proportional to the greatness of its leader. We believe that an organization cannot grow without until the leader grows within. Keep Prosecutor Mazzella growing within. Keep him focused on fairness and justice in this difficult season of his administration. Give him the intellect and the strength and courage and wisdom to lead his staff. Surround him with people who can speak truth to him when he errs in judgment, but also surround him with people who stand with him when the wolves of hatred scream that he may be steadfast to pursue justice so that the lamb and the wolf may lie down together in brotherhood and sisterhood of peace. Remember always this blessed place that has been made holy by the sacrifices of our fallen brothers and sisters. Help us also at this time to remember those who may be among us, whose hearts bleed with the feelings of pain because they are weighted down with the heaviness of injustice. Help those here today to always remember to temper justice with mercy, for we know that there is a difference in what is just and what is legal. We close the blessing of this office by praying not just for this office, but for every law enforcement officer in our county, for every person that wears a badge, for every person who works in the various police departments in our county. Help them to understand their calling to be both a helper and a warrior. Thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you, chaplains. Amen to that. Ladies and gentlemen, 
on behalf of Prosecutor Musella and the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office. We thank you for coming and honoring, honoring the prosecutor and honoring the BCPO. We ask that you continue to support us. On behalf of Prosecutor Musella, you are all invited to his reception, and I hope you all come and speak with him. Thank you very much.